in AU-58 condition, so valuable, is that it was struck on a wrong planchette, on a bronze blank, during transitional period. Due to the rising cost of copper, since transition from bronze to copper-plated zinc during 1982, the quality of strike declined and modifications were made to the obverse legends, including the date, to allow faster press production of zinc sense. At Denver, the small date subtype was introduced after the remaining bronze planchets were coined. Any surviving 1982D small date bronze scents are transitional alloy errors, cousins to the famous 1943 bronze scents. It was sold for $10,800 at 30 auctions. Here is 1983 Lincoln scent with double die reverse, graded in mean state 68 read by PCGS, an impressive guidebook variety with a widespread on reverse legends and the horizontal lines of the memorial. Die polish lines on each side of the portrait suggest that mint personnel concentrated on the appearance of the wrong die. The brick red surfaces are void of contact or carbon. State of is slightly incomplete and a few tiny bubbles reside beneath the copper plating, so it ended up selling for $7,050 at heritage auctions. Moving on to the 1985 Lincoln scent in mint state 68 plus, the design elements exhibit razor sharp definition and the pristine original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. PCGS has reported only 11 pennies this finding, including this superb gem. It was bargained for $5,875 at heritage auctions. Here is 1980s Lincoln scent in PR70 deep cameo condition. The devices stand out dramatically against the watery mirrors on this important PR70 deep cameo offering. The eye-catching copper-orange surfaces are pristine, highly elusive proof example in this superb condition. It was sold for $3,120 at thirty auctions. Here is 1984 Lincoln sent with double die of verse, graded in mean state 68 read by PCGS. Lincoln's ear, lower beard, and bow tie are prominently doubled. This is a virtually perfect cherry red and lilac example that shows minor pimpling in the fields, but absolutely no post-striking flows on either side. It ended up selling for $3,220 at heritage auctions. In 1987, some Lincoln scents featured a repunched mint mark, which means that the D mint mark was stamped twice on the coin. This resulted in a ghost image of the D that appears slightly shifted from the original. This variety is known as the 1987 Lincoln scent with D over D repunched mint mark and is highly sought after by coin collectors. The repunched mint mark adds to the coin's historical significance and rarity, making it more valuable than other common Lincoln scents from the same year. If you have a 1987 Lincoln scent with a repunched mint mark, it is recommended that you have it professionally graded and authenticated by reputable coin grading service. To determine its exact value, this gem in MS67 red condition ended up selling for $1800 at heritage auctions. According to the US Mint, over 6.3 billion Lincoln cents were produced in 1988, including more than 2.8 billion from the Denver Mint. The 1988D Lincoln cent is still considered a common coin and its value depends on its condition, which ranges from poor to mint state. In higher mint states, they command strong premiums, for instance, these attractively toned specimen whose radial iridescence around the color ended up selling for $1,495 at heritage auctions. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day.